G'day, g'day, my name's Jim, and today I'm going to be trying to put a motor on a lazy Susan. I guess that might make it a very lazy Susan? Oh, come on, that was funny. So, I built this lazy Susan a couple of weeks ago to help with filming. It allows me to mainly get boo roll footage. It's pretty cool, however, you really need a nice, steady, even speed. And, well, trying to do this by your hands is a big pain in the ass. I've tried pulling it with some string and I've tried spinning it freehand. That does sort of work, but it's rather hit and miss whether you're actually going to get the shot you need or not. What I really need is a motorised one. Yeah, that might be a little bit overkill. So the first thing I'm needing is a motor. So I pulled down a couple of my old Ozito drills to steal the motor out of and well, the first one didn't even freaking work. It was totally dead. The second one worked fine, but with the reduction gearbox and all, it still wasn't slow enough. It was uh, way too fast. So then I hooked it up to my power supply to see if I put less voltage in it, whether it would slow it down or not. And that's when my power supply decided to shit itself. So I pulled the power supply down to see if I could find a fuse or something obvious in there that I could fix. And then after an hour or so, I got the shits and put it aside and decided to go back to my project. Now, at this point in time, I decided, so fuck it, I'll build my own speed controller, my own voltage regulator. So that's what I did. So after spending several hours rooting around building my own voltage regulator slash speed controller... I discovered that it doesn't even work properly anyway. The uh, the drill just doesn't have enough power or torque to be able to rotate it once it's got some weight on it. So, more wasted time. Now, what I really need, again, is a high-torque, low-speed motor. Now, I could easily buy this part off eBay, but I'd like to try and make everything out of scrap. I'd like it not to actually cost me any money. And besides, I don't want to wait two weeks for the bastard to show up. So after another hour or so of rummaging through my boxes of shit, I had a, uh, a bit of epiphany. So I remembered seeing some high-torque motors in pedestal fans that are used to oscillate the head back and forth. And I'm thinking... That motor would be absolutely bloody perfect if I could find one of those. So I went through my big pile of fucked up pedestal fans. <laughs> After all, it is Australia. We have fans going 24 hours a day here. So, you know, these cheap fans just shit themselves after not too long a period at all. Um, I pulled two or three apart and they unfortunately had the oscillation run off the back of the shaft on the motor through a gearbox. So this is pretty much the point where the missus turned around and said, hey, what about this fan? And I gave her a screwdriver and said, you go for it, because I was pretty much getting the shits by now. It had been hours and hours and hours of rude arsing around, and I'm getting absolutely nowhere. About five minutes later, I hear a call out, is this what you're looking for? Fuck me. That'd be right. Way to show my dumb ass up. Now, my rummaging around earlier turned up a box of spare RC parts, and I found some wheels and some hubs and stuff off my Sen CT4 and thought, yeah, this could probably come in handy. I was thinking I should be able to mount this on the side of Susan so the height is about the same as the table itself. Try and keep it out of shot because the last thing I want is this bloody big motor and wheel and stuff sitting up in front of you know, the item that I'm trying to shoot or sitting in the back where it's drawing people's attention. So I grab my micrometer and start measuring up the size of the shafts on the motors and wouldn't you know it, the micrometer starts sticking and grinding and cracking and crunching and carrying on and it just won't freaking work properly. I stick it up to my ear and have a listen to it and it's, it's grinding. It sounds like it's got bloody sand or something in it. So everything goes aside and I start pulling the micrometer apart. I pull it all apart into pieces. I blow it all out with some compressed air and I clean it all and I highly restrain myself from greasing and oiling this thing because that's a no-no because it'll actually attract and give you more dirt and dust in a quicker period of time. So I made sure I didn't do that even though I really, really wanted to. So now I finally got my micrometer fixed. I can't even pronounce that properly. I... <laughs> I can take the measurements of both shafts because what I'm thinking is making a collar or a collet to put both these shafts in and join them together. So off down to the workshop we go and I find a piece of brass. We chuck this in the saw and cut it off to the right length and then we'll go stick it in the lathe. Now me having a crap day managed to continue. 
<laughs> without me being able to find half the tools I wanted because some of them are up at my mum's place because I'm doing up her house so she can sell the bloody thing. And I really didn't want to go up there and get my stuff, so I just had to make do with whatever I could bloody find around the place. Now, the principle behind this is really, really simple. All I'm basically doing is making a shaft and putting a hole in it at one end that fits the motor shaft and putting a hole in the other end, which fits the axle shaft, and joining them together somehow, then screwing the wheel on top. But so far today, I've managed to destroy two drills, a power supply, three drill bits, and a tungsten carbide lathe tool. So I'm not going to be fucking with a three millimeter thread tap. Fuck that, because I know exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to try soldering it instead. As long as the solder will stick to this high carbon steel, then it should be good. I know it'll certainly stick to the brass. Well, this seems solid enough, but considering the day I'm having, I might want to reserve judgment for a little bit later. So with the motor side, I'm just going to force a little bolt in there and like bend it and cut it off and just use a, a poor man's split pin. That's good enough for the girls I go out with. Then I just need to attach the wheel to the top side by using the mini nut onto the rim, which is why I decided to use a uh, RC car rim and uh, axle so I didn't have to um, fuck around with it. And um, I'm just going to shove some wires into a little temp clip here to make sure it works. And sick. Man, that is fantastic. Unreal. I'm really happy now. Good stuff. All I need to do is work out a way to mount this onto the side of Susan to apply some constant pressure. And we are in business. So my thoughts on doing this is to cut some aluminium strips off a piece of scrap I had laying around and make them into the right length. Drill some holes in either end. Attach one end of the motor, attach the other end to Lazy Susan, and on the other end, I reckon do exactly the same, except I'll cut the strip in half and then place a spring in between them, and hopefully that'll apply some constant pressure. So it works out, I'll place the spring right against the motor itself, I don't actually need two arms there, and uh, attach to the bottom of Susan, and holy fuck, look at that, it actually works, oh my god, uh, top wheel's a little bit loose still, but that's fantastic, I am really really happy with that, I just got to tighten that wheel up a little bit, because it's actually, uh, it's actually shifting inside the axle, and there you have it. Well, in real life, this took a hell of a lot longer to build than I was expecting, but we got it done, thank goodness. And I just saved myself crap knows how much cash that I didn't actually even have, so. <laughs> All right, guys, well, if you like the video, you know what to do. And if you hate the video, well, you know what to do. And if you don't know what to do, you comment below. Y'all have a great day out there. You be good, you stay safe, and we'll see you around like a Rissol Trendsetters. Play the music. London calling to the faraway town. Techno, techno. If you like my videos, here's a few more for you to watch. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss my next video which will be out in a couple of days.